this is example one from section 2.3, finding function values with a calculator. For this exercise, what we're going to do is to approximate the value of each expression. First of all, we'll find the tangent of 68 degrees, 43 minutes, then cosine of 193.662 degrees, the cosecant of 35.8471 degrees, and finally the secant of negative 287 degrees. The first thing that you want to make sure is that your calculator is in degree mode. By default, your calculator is in something called radian mode, but we're working with degrees, so make sure your calculator is in degree mode. And what you'll need to do is to go to mode, and then uh, change radian mode to degree mode. So just scroll down to radian and then over to degree, press enter until degree is highlighted and then your calculator is in degree mode. If you press second quit then you'll go back to the home screen. Okay, so we're ready to calculate the tangent of 68 degrees 43 minutes. You can either use the angle menu to enter the expression exactly as it appears you can convert the angle to decimal degrees first. Notice that the angle menu, you have to hit second and then apps, and you find the degree symbol and the minute symbol there. So just enter tangent of 68 degrees, 43 minutes. You can see that the value of that is approximately 2.567. Um, the other way that you can get the uh, value is to remember that there are 60 minutes in one degree. So if we want to convert 43 minutes to degrees, we just divide 43 by 60. So if you enter tangent of 68 plus 43 divided by 60, that will give you the same value. You don't have to use the degree symbol because the, we put the calculator in degree mode. Okay, for part B, we're going to evaluate the cosine of 193.66, or I'm sorry, 193.622 degrees. So just enter cosine of 193.622 and then press enter. And you can see that the cosine of 193.622 is approximately negative 0.97. Um, our next exercise is to find the cosecant of 35.8471 degrees. And most likely your calculator doesn't have a cosecant button, but we do recall that cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, so you can just enter 1 divided by the sine of 35.8471 degrees, and that will give you the correct value. The second way to enter that on your calculator is to use the x to the negative 1 key. Remember, x to the negative 1 means 1 over x, or to take the reciprocal. So uh, you can enter the sine of 35.8471, and then after you've entered that, hit the x to the minus 1 key, and that will take the reciprocal of the result. Be really careful to uh, use the reciprocal key after you've put the last parenthesis, otherwise it will give you the incorrect value. For part D, we want to find the secant of negative 287 degrees. Again, your calculator most likely doesn't have a secant key, but you can enter or find secant by taking the reciprocal of cosine. So we just enter 1 divided by the cosine of negative 287 degrees and we'll get the correct result for secant. And again, an alternative way to find the secant would be to first of all find the cosine of negative 287, and then after you've done so, hit the x to the minus 1 key, which
which will take the reciprocal of the result. Make sure that you don't hit that key until after the right parenthesis.